for a second. Uh, let me just share the right thing for you guys. Uh, good morning, welcome. Uh, we're going to talk about um, the use of Siri. Uh, and I have a deck which I'm going to bring up in a second on Siri. Let me share this with you. So we're going to go through um, a course that we are launching on Siri framework. And uh, let me go through the agenda to start with. Um, we're gonna go and look at what is Siri, the methodology to, to recognize where you are. And I'll explain that in a second. And then of course the question will come up that once you use Siri, then what? Uh, so we will go through in this course, some practical examples uh, using the uh, model factory at ARTC so that you have some options that you could consider when you decide to embark on a digital transformation journey. And then we'll follow it up with some uh, Q&A sessions. So this is just me. Uh, I'm not going to go through this too much, but I just wanted to point out that you can see from my, from my beard uh, that actually this September, it will be the 40th year since I started working, uh, engineer by background industrial engineering. And currently I'm the program manager at ARTC for the model factory. But before we start, um, you notice that in the title there is industry 4.0. So I wanted to set the stage by what that means. Um, industry 4.0 was a term uh, created at Hanover Messe in Germany in 2011. And it it basically, uh, Hanover Messe is where the industry 4.0 uh, fairs go on. And then we worked backwards and came up with what was industry 1.0, 2.0, 3.0. And you can see it here on this um, slide. So industry one is basically assumed to be when um, steam power allowed the transition from manually doing operations to assisted with, with steam power. And then the second industry revolution was when electricity came along and helped it. But there were also other things like uh, the, the ability to mass produce. The third industry revolution at its heart was automation and um, electronics. And, and that was the start of the ability to use computers and automation. The fourth industry revolution, I 4.0, as it's called sometimes, uh, which is what we are going to talk about today, um, transition to what we call cyber physical systems. What that means is putting together the virtual world and the physical world. And you can see on the right some key disruptive technologies. And these are options that you can look at for your digitalization. But let me first go and why someone would attend this course. So given that we are in a digital world today, uh, the first thing that you want to do before you embark on any digitalizations uh, or transformation journey is to know where you are. And this course um, is basically aimed at providing you with the introductory knowledge of a framework that allows you in a structured and comprehensive manage, manage, uh, management way of understanding where you are on your digital journey. Um, so it is, if you want to look at it, a snapshot um, in financial terms, a balance sheet, which tells you where you are today in various dimensions. And, in any, organize, in any company, there are three uh, components to it. There is the business itself. You could also call it the process. There is the technology that enables or assists the transformation of your business or processes. And there is the organization, the people that actually make it happen. Um, and Siri goes through that in considerable detail with a very clear methodology to go look at it. 
the second question, of course, you'll ask is, so why ARTC for this course? And there are, I would, I've put it down as course credentials, but it's basically, in our opinion, uh, differentiators. The first is that the trainers, um, I will be one of the trainers and I am the program manager for the model factory where we've actually demonstrated and I'll come to that in a second, uh, as well as uh, from Tufsud. Uh, and Tufsud is the organization that worked with EDB to create uh, Siri. So they have an intimate knowledge of the entire Siri process. The second thing is that once you understand using the Siri process where you are, you also need some information, and, and there are many ways of finding it, by the way, but in this course, we will demonstrate to you physically, now given the current pandemic, you can't physically come to our facility, but we do have a virtual tour, again, using a digital technology that enables you to have a look at what are some of the options that you could look at to digitize or digitalize your, your facility or your, your factory. And it could be as simple as things like converting uh, paper, noting down of information to digital, which would mean that you are able to do things in a shorter time frame. for example. Uh, the, the looking at uh, you know, 50 pages of data to come and arrive at a conclusion versus the digital platform giving you a graph that you can look at and come to has many advantages. Um, and it is something that I will come to in a second that we all use in our life uh, today. And the approach, as I said, will be that. So we will have uh, with expertise, an in-depth explanation of how you would look at Siri and what insights it can provide you on where you are with your, as the title says, by the way, uh, the smart industry readiness index, so where, where you are on, on that ladder of digital transformation. And then we would also, as I said, show you some options that have been actually physically done um, that you can look at. So in that, let me explain what are some of the things that we have done um, that we will showcase to you and, uh, and work with you on some ideas. But don't, don't get too engrossed with this. It is digitalization is even simple value proposition enhances as for example, as I said, if for example, you take your readings from your power board and you know, for example, that human beings can make errors. There's also a timing issue of when they take it. It's a, there are two dimensions to it. So one is the time dimension. You might be taking readings once a day, once a week, but you get a power bill at the end of the month. Reconciling that takes time and effort if there is a reconciliation required. The ability to have a digital reading uh, of that and to provide you with insights is what digitalization does. So. Let me give you a, a human example of what I mean by why you need to do something like Siri to understand where you are. And, and let me put it in, in human terms. So as a human being, when you want to check on your health status and you go to a doctor, the first thing that occurs is that the doctor has to set a baseline to find out what your state is. So there will be blood tests, there may be an eye test, there might be an audio test, uh, depending on, on what it is, there might be scans or ECGs, et cetera, et cetera. But why is that being done? That is to understand where you are today because any intervention that needs to be done can only be done once you know where 
you as a human being in this example are. What's your blood pressure? Do you have, what's your sugar levels? Um, is your eyesight failing or do you have glaucoma? There's so many uh, things that are in the human body and which is valid to a factory. So are my machines running efficiently? Am I creating rework? Am I creating scrap? Um, is my power consumption more than it ought to be? Uh, are my machines still running uh, when they should be idle, but I don't know, for example? Digitalization is something that would help it. Now, again, the, the concept of digitalization is not new. We all use it today in our lives. Uh, I would think that all of you on this call have a smartphone. And the, the simplest example I can give you of digitalization there is in the past to put it between pre-digitalization and digitalization. So if I go back 10 years ago and I wanted to find out some information, there were a few options. One, I could call somebody that I thought knew the answers. Uh, B, I could walk across to say, for example, a library and search for the topic that I'm interested in and then find out. Uh, today, what do you do? You type in to a search engine, for example, Google or Bing or whatever search engines. I mean, there are vernacular search engines as well. Uh, you type in and you get a load of information. And if, you, if you've ever looked at Google, it'll tell you, you know, 372,000 uh, items found in 0.47 seconds. But that is the, the, the factor that digitalization brings. So it brings you the data or the information that you want. You still have to look at it, but it has a speed dimension. And knowing first and foremost, what is happening is the key differentiator of digitalization versus pre-digitalization. Um, let me put that in context. I said, I have 30 years of industry experience. If you are part of a supply chain, or even if you're not, that means you just produce a product that goes to an end customer. And if there is an issue, the fact that you can tell your customer, whoever that customer might be, whether it is a, a consumer or another producer, with speed and the ability to, to what's the correct word, uh, ring fence the affected uh, products in a time scale that is manageable is a very important value proposition. So let me explain that in simple English. You produce a product. If you do not have the resolution of say an hour, let's assume that you do based on paper and you have a day's resolution. If there is an issue, your only option to protect either the consumer or your customer is to ring fence the entire day's production. And that could be, let's just pick a number, just for a simple maths, say $10,000 worth of inventory. It's ring fenced, it's, it's not allowed to move as it were, or it's ring fenced at another location. If you had a digital method of knowing this, uh, and I'm not talking about anything really complicated, a barcode that is scanned at various uh, processes so that you know where it was and you can ring fence now an hour's production, meaning that you now know that a machine malfunctioned between say 10 a.m., which is a few minutes ago, and 11 a.m. and that you fixed it at 11.30, for example, you know that the products that need to be ring fenced uh, probably give it a little bit of safety margin 10 to 12. So now you're talking about one twelfth of that. Well, let me make, make it $12,000 for simple maths. One twelfth of that $12,000 of a day's production, 
needs to be ring fenced. It's a thousand dollars. What does that mean? It means that eleven thousand dollars worth of goods can still flow because they were not impacted by that failure mode. That ability to react, speed, protect your customers' interests by knowing what is happening in your facility, building their confidence that you know what is happening in, in time spans that are uh, of interest to them. These are some of the things that digitalization brings to you. But as I have said, you first need to know where you are. And it's also important, um, and I come back to the human thing, you know, there's this thing, and I'm, I'm slightly on the large side, uh, horizontally, not vertically. <laughs> uh, there is this thing called body mass index, BMI. But BMI actually uh, has, uh, I mean, the way it's calculated is the same worldwide. But what uh, overweight, underweight, obese, that number actually varies depending on where, which part of the world you're in. Um, the recommended numbers. It is the same that you will also learn with Siri, that not only do you understand where you are, but you could also look at what is relevant to your industry sector. There are industry sectors that are very digitally integrated, but if you are not operating in that, it is not necessary for you to be at that level. It is always always looked at from a value proposition and your competitive edge that you gain from the ability to use data to enhance your value proposition to your customers, consumers. And that is what we will be discussing in this course over two days. It is an introductory course. Uh, for you at the end of the day to know exactly where you are and moving to a more digitalized version, what would that entail? That's all it is telling you at the moment in this course. That is, I am at point A, and if I want to go to point C, what would point C look like? That's what it would tell you. And it would go across all the dimensions, as I just to give you a quick overview, there are three areas that you always start with. There is the business and the process. There is the technology that supports that and enables it. And there is the organization from both a structure and a people perspective that will make it happen. And Siri starts with that. It then breaks it up into pillars and then into dimensions by which you assess. And we will go through all of that during the course, and we will close the course uh, by providing you some ideas. What kind of infrastructure would you need to put in, for example, to, to do some form of digitalization? And within that, what options would you have? These are just options. Uh, the decisions will be obviously, uh, as it's famously said in Singapore, on a case-by-case -case basis, because you are unique in the way you operate. And, and we obviously will not be asking you for your, your confidential information so, so that you can make that call on your own. Uh, and as I said, there will be options. So infrastructure, options of automation, options of digitalization, uh, of software, uh, of things like predictive maintenance. These are just options that will happen. We do have another course, uh, and I'll be doing a webinar at two o'clock today, actually, of how do you embark and what do you do to make that journey from point A, which is where you are today, which is the outcome of this course, to where you would want to go, uh, which is a future state. And how would you do it? It's called LEAD. And if any of you are interested, uh, at two o'clock, you could uh, this afternoon uh, join that and I'll go through that. Uh, there is one other thing that I wanted to point out. There is a course fee and let me stop share and show you 
that as well. Oops, sorry. So uh, hopefully you can see this. Um, this is the course uh, fee for this course. You can see um, uh, what the course, this is with GSD, by the way. Um, so you can see what the net fee to you would be. Uh, and if you want more details, um, you can go to the Skills Future Singapore site, which has all the details. Um, with that, um, I'll leave this on if you want, but with that, um, if uh, you can open it up, um, as I said, you can put up your hand um, and we can, uh, let me just stop sharing this. Um, you can just put it in the chat and uh, I will unmute everyone, I guess, and you can ask any questions that you want. Uh, so I'll give you a few minutes to, to digest this and then um, welcome any questions and, and be happy to share uh, any concerns that you have. <laughs> 